Hi, good afternoon and welcome everyone to our Fridays with Friends special pet edition. So Legal Aid and Coast to Coast have been working remotely since we closed our buildings on March the 13th, still helping clients, but we are at home and have our very special pet friends that have been keeping us company. So today we wanted to spend a little time and introduce you to some of our pets um, from our Legal Aid and Coast to Coast staff because there are more than just the ones on here. Um, for anybody watching, please post a picture of your pet friend that is working from home with you, just so we can all share pics of our friends. Um, and I'm going to turn it over to Eddie now and Skittles um, as they introduce all of our friends today. Thank you, Alicia. Welcome, everybody, uh, to a very special edition of Fridays with Friends. I'll start off the introductions with Skittles. He hails from uh, North Florida, Tallahassee. And uh, this, is, this is not a free appearance today. He's getting lots of carrots and apples for this. Um, Good idea. So without further ado, let's, let's meet everybody else. Uh, let's start with Paul. Hi, everybody. My name is Paul Yoon. I'm a staff attorney for Coast Coast Legal Aid. This is my best friend, Pedro. Get a close up there. He's 11 years old. I got him uh, my second term in law school up in, uh, uh, in Michigan. At Central Michigan, and um, he, once again, he, he's 11 years old. Um, the funny thing is, is obviously, you know, being at the office all day, I feel bad that he's going to be home all day by himself. But now it's like a double-edged sword. Now that I'm home all day working remotely, I feel bad because I can't play with him all the time. So it's he's not happy either way. But it's good <laughs> to be home with him, and he keeps me company. Um, he hears uh, all the work that I do, and. Sometimes I think he makes some comments about what I'm doing here and there with little grunts and stuff like that. But otherwise, uh, this is my little partner in crime here, Pedro. And say hi, say hi, Pedro. There you go. Hi, Pedro. He's a half chihuahua terrier. His mother was uh, a uh, terrier and his father was a chihuahua. So and this is Pedro. Hey, Pedro. Uh, we'll, we'll make sure we get the... Uh, some, oh some billables God. for Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so let's let's go next to uh, Patrice, Executive Director of Coast to Coast. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, as Eddie said, my name is Patrice Paldino. I am the Executive Director of Coast to Coast Legal Aid. I'm so proud of the staff and everything we're doing. I am here today with my German Shepherd, Ty, who is not cooperating. Come here. You hear the dog? Where are you, Ty? <laughs> of course. There she is. Oh, now, Ty, Ty is a um, German Shepherd, a pure German Shepherd, 100% German Shepherd breed, um, who apparently her father was like a award-winning German Shepherd, well-behaved, trained thing. That is not Ty. Um, <laughs> Um, energetic, we'll call her. Um, she has a sister cat named Sushi. So we have Sushi and Kai. I would have had Sushi here with us, but the two of them fight like cats and dogs. So <laughs> they cannot be in the same room, particularly if I'm here. Yeah. Um, and usually she's right in my face all day long. And today she's not one apart. There she is. She loves to jump like a kangaroo. One more try. Come on. One more try. Do you want to say hello? Yeah. Well, she's not cooperating, but that is my assistant, Ty. So thanks, everyone, for being here, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, Patrice and Ty. Um, okay, Marta, I think we have some, we're going to venture into uh, some, some aquatic animals, potentially. All right. So I am Marta Estevez. I'm the deputy director at Coast to Coast Legal Aid. And when we are in the building, I report to Patrice Paldino as my boss. But here in the house, my I am completely at the whim of my covey of pets. So my senior manager is Tiba. Tiba is a 12-year-old pug. Don't tell me she's ugly because she is not. Um, <laughs> and she's, she's in search of a really good... Uh, Adonis to help her. Um, so she is, she came with me. My best friend got her for me out of Gainesville. That's why her name is Tiba. She is named after Tim Tebow. Go Gators. Go Gators. So part of my senior management, if he will cooperate. 
is my muck turtle because <laughs> I never touch them. No, um, my muck turtle Filbert. Filbert is about 15 years old. Um, he lives with us. We have Buddy. Come here, Buddy. Here, Buddy. Look. We have Buddy who is. Come here, Bubba. You might see him in the background. Buddy is a nine-year-old pointer. He has been written up in the office plenty for insubordination. He is not the most. Go. Oh, he is not the uh, the most the easiest person to work with. Um, as part of my management, also we have Chewy, who is a seven-year-old, a shepherd mix. Unfortunately, Chewy said that no one can infringe on his lunch hour, and therefore, unless we paid him time and a half, he was not showing up to the. <laughs> So he is at his lunch hour taking his well-deserved break. Um, and he is also keeping guard. We have a 20 gallon saltwater fish tank out front that houses a number of fresh coral and fish. So although Patrice is my boss normally, these guys run the house and I have to make sure I do whatever they tell me. I, I Eddie, think before it's very fair about Chewy. Oh, what's that? Before you move on, I found Sushi. Here she is. Oh, we've, we've got <laughs> Sushi on camera. See, she's looking beautiful. So she is the queen of my house, and she's desperately trying to escape because the dog is there. And there she goes. <laughs> it's, it was a brief Hi, appearance, Sushi. but it, it was it was a uh, yeah. like a shooting star, you know. Okay. Like Sushi, her appearances no. are rare. <laughs> very very few. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, let's. Um, okay, a bit of a uh, a boast here, but we're gonna go to Kara. And there's a bit of a, an Instagram fame situation, not to be too boastful, uh, but uh, Kara's dog, Alexander the Great Brussels, that is the Instagram handle if you want to find. Uh, Kara, do you want to tell us a little bit more? Sure. I've got Lex here, and then this big guy laying in front of the camera is Morgan. You can see his tummy here. Uh, Morgan <laughs> is a almost 14-year-old cat living the good life. Let's see if we can... That big guy <laughs> and then that's Lexi who doesn't enjoy Morgan um we didn't name Morgan we got him from the Humane Society and that was his given name he lives the good life this is Lex um Alexander the Great is his official name because he had a pug brother named Napoleon and we thought that sounded sophisticated but realistically he's named Lex after Lex Luthor and Napoleon was named after Napoleon Dynamite. So this is Lex. And yes, he has his own Instagram account with like 12 or 1300 followers, mostly other uh, Brussels Griffins. Um, he's kind of big for a Brussels Griffin, you can see. <laughs> and he's acting like he doesn't like the limelight, but you know, he's a leb, so he can be moody, I guess. Um, Morgan, do you want to say hi? <laughs> Here's my oh. Morgan. <laughs> He's a gnome. I'm sitting on the floor because I thought that they would come to me, but oh, and there's the cat butt. <laughs> so those are my guys. They've all left. So <laughs> thank you for our time. <laughs> what happens okay, when you're amazing. a celebrity? Yeah, they get very moody. <laughs> yeah, their time is a freak. Um, yes. Okay, let's let's shift over to uh, Colette with with Legal Aid Service of Broward County. Well, um, can you see me? Yeah, we can see you. Oh, I just lost Mickey, uh, which is unusual <laughs> because normally I have my dog here and my cat, and they entertain me all day or they sleep, and one clamors for attention over the other, and uh, Mickey just ran away and. Rocky, who can't see him very well, but he's Aww. decided to go to doggy daycare today. Hmm. Uh, he missed his friends. So that's that. That's normally my entertainment, but my entertainment just, uh, my only source of entertainment just escaped me to uh, there's something more interesting outside, I guess. Uh, but normally he's on top of my computer and uh, he only needs time to stop working. And it's been a lot of fun. I, I have to say, I miss my colleagues, but my my at home colleagues have been uh, entertaining and painting helpful to getting my work done. But uh, normally Rocky would have a lot to say, but um, maybe he can make the next visit. 
but okay. yeah, I, I miss them. I was, it's hard to drop them off. I feel like I'm dropping them off at school, <laughs> even though, uh, yeah, it, it's just, it's just a matter of keeping, uh, he's a little socially shy sometimes. So I have to, I'm told I have to keep up the doggy daycare, even when I don't need it. Mm. But, uh, so he had a visit today and mm. I, he wanted to go. So, mm -hmm. uh, this is a lot of fun. I hope we get to do this again. Mm -hmm. Um, when Rocky is here and when they can both entertain all of you at the same time. <laughs> Thanks, Colette. Yeah, uh, Skittles did a doggy daycare. He took a course on his final exam. He peed everywhere uh, and, and failed the course. So uh, it, it can be tough. Um, okay, so let's go now to Shayna. Okay, all right. So I'll, I'm going to go over to my chickens now. They don't hang out on my lap usually. All right, hold on. So these are, these are my crow workers. Hold on. <laughs> Let's come down here. They're going to want some snacks. So we'll, can you see them? <laughs> <laughs> They're very fluffy. Um, right now, who we're seeing is the, the one over here that was formerly Maisel was supposed to be a hen. Unfortunately, it's not how it worked out. So now it's Morris. This is Edna. <laughs> this and these are actually her babies. Edna, right here. That's her son, and these are her two um, daughters, and they are named Midge and Francis. Okay. Jane, I lost you. You lost, lost me. Oh, there you are. You're back. There I am. Okay. So those are her babies, Midge and Francis and Morris, and they they do live up to their name of being crow workers. They do make some noise. They prefer to make noise when I am on client phone calls. Um, that is their preferred time to make noise. Um, they are about, the babies were just born um, end of January. We hatched them ourselves because we actually have another rooster that was also supposed to be a hen. That was a Penelope that turned into an Ernie and Ernie and Edna made these three. So we got to hatch them this year and that was honestly very, very exciting. Um, and that's pretty much, they all kind of have their different characteristics. If you can, I don't know if you can see Francis here. She's got blue ears. Oh. If you can see that. <laughs> so they're pretty cool. They're called, they're called sizzles. They're mixtures of silkies with um, cochins. And so they're called sizzles. So they're like the labradoodles or the golden doodles of chickens, I like to say. And I'm getting a puppy this week. So if we do this again, I'll be able to maybe show some puppy and chicken interaction. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Shana. Uh, Francis had really good hair. I know, right? I don't know where she gets that. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, all right. So let's let's go now to uh, James with Legal Aid Service in Broward County. Hey guys, I'm James Heaton. I'm the supervising attorney of Veterans Projects at Legal Aid Service in Broward County, and this is Mia's paw. Uh, this is Mia. Say hi, Mia. Say hi. This is Mia. She's a shepherd corgi baked potato mix. Uh, she was just told at the vet yesterday that she's a little overweight, so we're going to have to be working on that. Her favorite thing to do is sit all day and sleep and eat, so we have a lot in common. Um, but Mia's been with us for two and a half years. She's four. Uh, we got her from the Humane Society here in Broward. Uh, they told us that she came from Flint, Michigan, actually, and that they transferred her down uh, the day before, so we were actually we're one of the first people to see her and we got her right away because if you can tell she's a big sweet log she's the sweetest pup and uh, so friendly so it's uh she's been such a pleasure her original name was vespa um so that was quickly changed to me. <laughs> uh, and my wife and i decided on the name mia because uh you know her my wife and i met down in miami she's from miami uh my wife not the dog and uh, so we wanted to go with with Mia for MIA, and <laughs> sweet pup. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes Vespas just are parked. You know, yeah. they hang around. They're not always driving. Um, okay, thank you, James and Mia. Uh, let's go now to Cindy with Coast to Coast. Hi, I'm Cindy Woodward. I'm a family law attorney with Coast to Coast. This is Buster. Um, I've had Buster since he was four weeks old, Marta Estevez that you met earlier with the pug and the turtle, brought him into the office one day when he was just a little ball of fluff. 
and he's been with me ever since. He's about five now, and he is just a big baby. He is attached at my hip. And the most interesting thing I can tell you about him is that he watches TV like no other dog I've ever had. And I've had dogs all my life. He sits at the edge of my bed at night and barks at every animal that comes across the, uh, the TV screen. Aww. Whether it's a Charmin blue teddy bear or a real animal, <laughs> he thinks they're talking to him. And he's a big lover, as you can see, and he's my big baby. Say hi, Bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I get on Zoom meetings or Zoom hearings, he wants to get up on my lap. And today, for whatever reason, maybe it's all the animals he's hearing, he wants to get off. <laughs> oh. Bark at the window. <laughs> okay, thanks, Cynthia. Um, okay, now let's move to Erin uh, from Legal Aid. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Good. 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 This is Murphy Wayne. He is, a, he wanted to wear his best tie today. I don't know if you can see it, but he's wearing his tie. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. He was told, he was told or that uh, he had to dress for the occasion. So he picked out his tie and uh, Murphy is a Maltese mix. But if you ask him, he would say that he's a St. Bernard because that's how he acts with all the other dogs in the neighborhood. Um, I'm his second favorite person in the house out of two. So that's not saying much, but it, I'll take it. And um, the most interesting, we actually adopted Murphy from the Humane Society. And the most interesting thing about Murphy is that he's a tripod, which means that he has three legs. So he's, he's perfect and we, we love him. And he's so glad to be here with all of you guys and to meet all of his new friends. Hi, Murphy. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Thank Thanks, Murphy. So he's, he's looking terrific. Um, okay, so now we have Carolyn with Coast to Coast. Yeah. Hi. Um, I have two friends to show off. The first one, this is Louie, and he is two years old. Both of them were rescued from Good Karma Cut Rescue in Broward. Um, my Louie is two. He's a terrier, papillon, Jack Russell mix. And a fun fact about Louie is I used to sneak him into my office back when we went to work and I would put him in a Publix bag and sneak him in to hang out with me. Those were the days. Who was my new quarantine? Oh, Louie was rescued from Alabama. And then this is my newest baby, Archie, who we got on Good Friday because quarantine was boring. And <laughs> Who doesn't want somebody peeing all over their house? It's really added a whole other activity to my day. And he's from Puerto Rico. He's very vocal. I'm surprised he's not yelling at you all yet, but he has doubled in size since we've had him. And I look forward to seeing him into my office as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Carolyn. Okay, so we've, we've had a lot of furry friends. Um, we're gonna we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna go to uh, to Rio, and uh, I think it might be a bit of a, a transition here. Hey everybody, my name is Rio Espinoza. I work in the housing unit at Legal Aid. So what I have with me today is one of my favorite friends, and he. <laughs> spare with me just a second. He is not happy because he's not in his cage or outside. Uh -huh. So this is Belagos. He is an eight-month-old panther chameleon that I got from um, San Francisco, California. Um, as you see, he's very <laughs> acrobatic in a sense. Um, he still has at least another six months or more before he's fully grown and has his full colors. Um, but as you see, he's quite red and blue. Um, his feeding is wow. not something that most people would like to get involved with because it does involve live insects instead of vegetables. <laughs> but also I have my fish. They're freshwater fish and all of these are rescues. Um, I have some that are just, you know, the silver dollars, red hooks, which is the big one. And then I have my fancy dude, which is an arwana that will get at least um, maybe about four feet long when he's full grown. 
So I have quite the <laughs> aquatic life in <laughs> nature in my house, as well as I also have some rescue kittens that were found in my backyard when they were four weeks old two years ago. Yes, <laughs> but they are actually sunbathing right now <laughs> with their towel. So we have Boomy, who I call Snuggles because all he wants to do is meow and snuggle with me. And then we have Twilight, who is Mama, that only answers to Mama, really. So these are my rescue babies that, yes, I failed as a foster mom by adopting them. <laughs> <laughs> so those are my babies that keep me company. And yes, um, Balagos. The chameleon is the one that runs the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Rio. That's so cool. I didn't know that there was uh, rescues and fostering for, yeah, different types of animals like that. That's very cool. Um, okay, so let's move over now. Throughout this whole uh, live stream, there's been one video box. It's been so perfectly still. It's been Eric. Uh, so. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Edward. Edward is a rescue. He's got he's got three legs as well. He's a tripod. <clears throat> and uh, I got him four days after his leg was removed from the Humane Society. And uh, I got him in, in Arizona. And we he was my co-pilot on my trip across the country when I retired. And uh, we uh, put thousands of miles on the truck and he was a good co-pilot. And then uh, now we're here in Florida and happy to be your guys' uh, facilities manager over at Coast to Coast. <laughs> Eric looks like, or, uh, Edward looks like a really good co-pilot. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks Eric. Okay, so next we're gonna have Naomi with uh, Legal Aid Service of Broward County. Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm one of the receptionists at Legal Aid. This is Lila Bell. She is 10 years old. We got her under the impression she was going to be a Cocker Spaniel. She is not a Cocker Spaniel. She is a Golden <laughs> Retriever. She kind of just grew up into that. And this is Toby. And his name is Toby Jacks, and he's three. So Toby thinks he's a pit bull, and Lila <laughs> thinks she's a baby. She doesn't like to get up before 11 o'clock in the morning, so she gives you that face when I tell her I have to answer the phone. So, and I have another one, her name is Pebbles Marie. She is not photogenic or friendly and she's 15 years old. So she pretty much likes to eat and sleep. But other than that, they are really good co-workers and they're being really good except Toby when he wants to bark at the neighbor. But that's it. Uh, I, I feel you Pebbles. Nobody's blaming her for that. Okay, and yes. finally, to wrap it all up, we've got Alicia Herwood of Coast to Coast Legal Aid and Buster. No, you don't want to come. Another Buster. I was getting up like saying the whole time, so he is another Buster. Okay. Now people can, can everybody see? Now people can see. So Buster is a seven-year-old rescue. Um, has lab in him, among some other things. We got him when he was about eight or 10 weeks old. And he's named Buster because that's how creative a three-year-old is when they want to name their pet um, for it. And the carpet is bothering him because he's usually always on the tile. So he's like, mommy, why do you have me on the carpet all the time? Um, he, his favorite thing to do is eat and followed very closely by sleep. So he's been getting bribed the whole time with little snacks to have while he sits in here with us. But he's very sweet and very loving. He is not a good animal for taking on a walk though. He does not like being on the leash. He wants to be a free range dog and probably live on the farm that we visit when we go home to my parents' house. Um, oh. um, but yeah, we've had him for seven years and he's a good part of our family um, with our kids. So, and I'm super excited to meet everybody's pets. Some of them I had met before, but I'm very excited to see everybody's pets today. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you, Alicia. Okay, so I want to give a very big thank you to everybody for giving their time and everybody's friends for also giving their time. I lost Skittles because uh, I ran out of carrots and apples and he was, you know, not working without pay. So, but thank you so much to everybody. Uh, if, again, as Alicia said earlier, if you're watching the stream, we'd love to see your photos of, uh, of your pets.
uh, in the comments. And uh, make sure you give us a like and follow. We're going to have a lot of good clinics coming up uh, with important legal rights information. So look out for that. And uh, thank you guys again. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.